Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at people who sent the wrong text. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Texted my boss, I love you my cute pretty little princess. This was for my girlfriend, my current wife. Anyway, he responded with, I love you too, sweetheart. That's cute. Aww. Sent a naughty text meant for my fiance to my aunt once. One day at work, I texted my girl everything I was gonna do to her later after I got home. Went all out, didn't hold back. I sent the text and 10 minutes later, my aunt texted, Oh dear, you sent this to the wrong person. Try again. Ah, <laughs> uh, yo, that's, yeah, no, 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 no. That's weird. I accidentally texted a stalker ex of mine the copy paste message letting all my other contacts know my new number for my new phone that I had gotten to avoid said stalker ex of mine. Uh oh, gotta change the number again. When I texted this girl I was going on a date with, hey Olivia, I'm out front. Her name was Natalie. She never came out. <laughs> wow. Deserved that because why would you be calling your date another name? He texted me a gym pic out of the blue. I texted him back a screenshot and the text, oh my god, what should I say? <sighs> oh my gosh. Has this happened to anyone before? You text someone back a screenshot? <laughs> I finished an overtime shift and instead of texting my wife, I ended up texting my boss. Leaving work now, I love you so much, babe. I'll see you soon. Baba? It's like two years later and this man still calls me Baba. I've never heard anyone call their significant other baby. My cousin had posted that she was going through a tough situation, so I of course messaged to ask her what's up. What I typed, hey, I saw your post on Facebook, what's going on? What order corrected to me, hey, I saw your pussy on Facebook, what's going on? I tried to quickly send a message to let her know what I actually meant, and for some reason it didn't send any of my tries. She read it and started to freak out big time. I always thought autocorrect corrected words like those though, because whenever you try to type the F word, it always becomes duck. That's crazy, the autocorrect corrected post to pussy. You must have been typing that a lot, hey. I was at work and tried to text my girlfriend, I can't wait to get home to F you in the butt. <laughs> After it was sent, I realized I had texted my mom. I quickly added that the text was not intended for her. She replied, okay. We never spoke about it. <laughs> okay. Of course she knows it's not for her, bro. <laughs> She's like, okay. Back when my brother and I were in high school, my dad would get drunk and be a jerk. Well, my brother and I were each other's support person. One day, the whole family was in the living room together watching a movie. My dad had recently walked in while my mom, brother and I had been there for a while. That's just some shit that bothered me. So I went to text my brother about how much of an asshole dad is. Well, I accidentally sent it to my dad. My body went into shock, but my mind went into survival mode or something because I felt myself just push my phone into the crack of the couch. Then I walked straight to dad and said, hey, I lost my phone. Can I use find my iPhone on yours to find it? He grabbed his and said, oh, a text from my son. I laughed and grabbed it before he read it. Deleted the text, rung my phone and was luckily in the clear. Ever since that day, I always clear my messages with him. I mean, honestly, if my dad was a terrible person, I wouldn't mind if he read it because someone needs a wake-up call. I was sexting a girl and had another start to text me asking for advice on her car. Accidentally got the two swapped. Girl I was originally sexting was confused, but girl asking about her car was receptive and went along with it until I realized what I did. <laughs> she went along with it. I mean, which one was successful? One of my best friends in high school was a girl named Natalie and we were super close. One night, I'm texting Natalie and I fall asleep mid-conversation. I woke up at 3am to a text saying, hey, sorry, I fell asleep. I love you. Good night. Which wasn't weird at all because we said I love you all the time. Without thinking, I replied back, I love you too. Good night, Natalie. And I get an immediate text back from my girlfriend who hadn't texted me an hour saying, wow, this isn't Natalie, but if you love her so much, why don't you be with her then? I couldn't help but laugh all the while knowing I effed up. I feel like why aren't there boundaries, right? If my guy says I love you to everyone and then he says I love you to me, it wouldn't even feel special. Because if I was the best friend of a guy and then he got a girlfriend, I would not cross my boundaries. Even if we did say I love you before, once he gets a girlfriend, I'm not saying that to him anymore because I respect the girlfriend. I mean, for sure, you can have a guy best friend or girl best friend. But dude, if you're in a relationship, keep your boundaries. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.